the challenges facing the NHS and facing our trust and many others <coughs> could not be solved by the finance team alone. I think the benefit of using a staff engagement approach to communicate and engaging people with finances, you've seen better interaction, better engagement, people getting much more on board and feeling much more involved with with the future of the organisation. The, the good ideas and the ideas that you get from the organisations are the things that can make a real difference and um, bridge that gap between the, that we currently face. And what you tend to find in our philosophy is that people rise to the challenge. When you're engaging people with finances, it's not just about telling them what's going on. Be really mindful about how those messages impact people. Naturally, we have a negative bias towards more threatening information. If we're saying we're in financial difficulty, how might people perceive that? And you want, you want people to get on board and engage with it and change the way they do things and contribute to that but they need to feel safe and able to do that as well. So find a way that people can make their difference. Because we have gone out there and made ourselves accessible and made finance accessible um, and worked with the organisation as opposed to talking to the organisation, there's a massive difference between those two things. Um, we are now completely seen as um, a, a seamless part of the operational side of the business. So I think it's creating that, again, trite word, trust between the organisation, the finance department and the executives that actually we're telling you the truth, we're, we're giving you the opportunity to help and you know, we'll listen to you and, and take it forward if, if that's the right thing to do. When I've talked to clinicians in particular before and you talk about their frustrations and what they, they want to make a difference to patients and and they s often see money as the barrier to this and it feels that this is this is a business thing this is something that I don't understand I don't get and there's c accountants making the decisions and I don't know how I can influence this but I know that if we did X Y and Z that could save money or we could bring in more income or whatever um, I think the beauty of things like Dragon's Den is that it feels that their ideas can be listened to, it's something accessible, they don't have to create a complex business case. You know, the word business case to a clinician is something that can be daunting. You know, so something like Dragon's Den feels much more accessible. So we started a kind of Dragon's Den approach to allocating capital. So the first part of it was everybody look ahead for the next 12 months and, and, and tell me what you need to spend capital on. So the first thing we do is we say to the individuals, okay, you whittle your own list down. I'm not going to tell you what's important. You tell me what your top priorities are out of the things that you've submitted. So everybody who's put those requests forward are asked to come along to a meeting of, of their peers. There's about 20 or 30 people in the meeting and it's representatives from all the senior uh, departments in the organisation, from you know, clinicians, nursing staff are there, estates, IMT, and t uh, and basically the people who have submitted their ideas pitch their idea to this audience. And essentially this group of peers vote on the, uh, the submissions to see which ones should take the priority for the capital allocation. And it works really, really well. Um, it's the people who manage capital themselves voting for what should be a priority. It's just a superb way of engaging people uh, to, to uh, a subject matter that in the past you, they would get told what they could spend them in. I think probably one of the most powerful has been um, our video um, messages that we use and we do an annual financial video. Um, so the video, it, it did two things actually. It, it yes. It described to the, those watching all these technical terms, um, but it also described the journey that the trust had had during the course of the, the financial year. Um, you know how we've spent our money, how we've generated our income, where it's come from, um, and, that, and that video's shown quite quite widely. We've had um, staff actually giving the, the financial message across. So we've had nurses and doctors appear in the video, uh, and the last one we did. Uh, was actually filmed through the eye of the patient. 
traditionally, you know, budget holders, people who sort of look after the money within an NHS trust, uh, they would receive a, a report uh, once a month on, on, on their own area's financial position. Uh, it was usually just a sort of a flat file and something emailed out to them. Um, as a finance community, we, we didn't know whether the individual who'd received it had read it or done anything with it. It was so dry, there was no engagement at all. Um, so we said, right, and this isn't cutting edge stuff today, but we did this sort of five or six years ago. Uh, we wrote our own business intelligence app. Uh, it's called DFM, Devolved Financial Management. But it, it does things like allows the user to drill down into the information. And almost immediately that we launched it, we noticed a, a step change with the way the budget holders engaged with us. So staff also need to feel that they can contribute ideas, they can make suggestions, they can see how they can make a difference. So I think that that's really important that we listen to that and we feed back to staff what we're doing with those ideas and suggestions. Because we've engaged and people have seen how easy it is now to, to understand their numbers and become involved in finance and become involved in the decisions, it, it's really uh, increased that, that level of responsibility. The number one tip, uh, make it simple. Don't talk in jargon as accountants. Uh, and get out there and be visible. This isn't just stuff that sits at the top of the organisation or with finance or with accountants. Um, this is something that actually, if you've got a great idea or you know how to save money or you know how to income generate, we want to hear it. Well, there's an avenue to listen to this and if, it, if we think it's a great idea, we'll invest in it and we'll invest back in you as well and your idea. And I think that's a really powerful message about how we value staff. I think when you build in more opportunities for staff to influence things like finances, um, they then have a sense of this is where I can contribute, this is where I can make my bit of difference.